Hello! The Ugreen Dock Review, companion for the Mac M4 Mini. The design perfectly matches the new Mac M4 Mini, while the surface texture can quite compete with the Mac itself. It's surprisingly high quality for this price range. SD and TF card slots are accessible from the front. Seriously, it's ridiculous that Apple didn't include these on the M4 by default. The peak performance of 104 megabit is significantly better than the internal SD card slot on my Asus Studio Book, which by the way is only three to four years old. Importing data through the studio book feels like being stuck in the dark ages by comparison. Sure, a TF 4.0 slot with up to 312 megabyte megabit per second would have been even better, but that's nitpicking at this point. The front panel also features two additional USB-A ports, something completely missing from the stock Mac. M4 Mini. On the back you'll find a contemporary 3.5mm in-out combo back for those who prefer wired headphones without wireless radiation. Great feature! Instead of the usual HDMI out that comes with most comparable docks or adapters, Ugreen includes a display port supporting up to 4K at 240Hz. I haven't been able to test this in practice due to not having such a display, but if you need a second HDMI output instead, you can easily adapt from display port to HDMI. This configuration is definitely better than the other way around. The back also houses two more USB-A ports and an additional USB-C port. All USB connections can theoretically deliver up to 10 gigabits per second. Special bonus feature? You can install an M2 SSD with up to 8 terabyte capacity on the underside of the dock. Maximum access speed is also up to 10 gigabits per second. Like many other manufacturers, Ugreen has included a practical cutout on the back of the dock. It's on the rear left, so you can easily access the power button on the Mac M4 Mini's case. Where the Ugreen Mac Mini M4 dock really stands out from competitors in the same price range, it uses two USB-C connections on the Mac. This makes perfect sense because otherwise all those ports on the dock would quickly get overwhelmed when accessing multiple sources simultaneously, not to mention outputting video to an external monitor at the same time. Ugreen definitely made the right call by distributing the bottleneck connection to the M4 across two USB-C ports. Ideally, two Thunderbolt 4 connections between the Mac and the dock would have been even better. After all, the base configuration of the M4 Mini offers Thunderbolt 4 and the Pro variants even have Thunderbolt 5. But such a fast interface probably not feasible yet in this price segment. Otherwise, if it were built in already, Ugreen would definitely have advertised it. I'm hoping the two USB-C connections are at least USB 3.2 generation 2 times 2 because that would provide 20 gigabits per second per channel. This would make the most mathematical sense for distributing to the dock's 10 gigabits per second ports. Being realistic though, each connector probably only delivers 10 gigabits per second, but nonetheless that's still twice as fast as most competitors who only provide a single USB 3.2 Gen 
to connection. Bottom line, the dual connection is really cool, but they should have logically placed it at the front instead of the back. The front of the M4 Mini only has USB 3.2 generation 2 ports anyway. This would have left all three Thunderbolt 4 ports on the back of the Mac available. To be honest, I think that would have made much more sense. They would have needed to make the front connector a bit wider, everything else would have worked just as well. Either Ugreen wanted to save on materials or they thought Mac users wouldn't want a wider connector on the front of their sleek M4 Mini. Too slim cable would have done the job too. Whatever, I can't fix the world on my own, I just add my two cents. Summary. Apart from the vague technical specs regarding the USB connector to the dock, this is a nearly perfect product with its dual connection. It's probably miles ahead or at least twice as fast as most other manufacturers in the same segment. Maybe you green will watch my YouTube video about this dock and give me feedback on how fast the two connections actually are. Even the user manual just says USB-C. If I learn more, I will definitely let you know. The second exciting unique selling point is the display port on the back of the dock instead of the usual HDMI. To be honest, it's just how things work. Manufacturers release exciting products, but they are never truly perfect. Otherwise, they couldn't sell new products. And so the wheel keeps turning as we continue on our endless journey into eternity. Thanks for watching, thanks for your time. Please present me, like, share the video, follow this channel and see you soon. With up to 312 megabit megabyte per second from the stock M4. M4 mini. From the stock M, from the stock M, from the stock Mac M4 mini. For those <coughs> who prefer wire who prefer wired headphones without wireless radiation. Great feature. <clears throat> 312 megabits per second. 312 megabits per second at the front instead of the back. The front of the M4 Mini, the front of the M4 Mini only has USB 3.2 generation 2 ports anyway. Whatever. I can't find the world. Whatever. I can't fix the world on my own. Well, whatever. I can't fix the world on my own. Just add. I just add my two cents.